Chemicals or insecticides usually do not show a 100% result when exposed to a mealybug. Their lack of effectiveness is due to several reasons. Mealybugs coated with wax repel chemicals and the pest doesn't suffer. Only young larvae are destroyed with almost no wax. A mealybug is simultaneously present on a plant in different stages – eggs, larvae and adults. Chemicals often kill a pest in only one or several stages of development. Mealybug has the ability to get used to the effects of the chemicals. This means that repeated plant processing with the same active ingredient and in the same concentration may not have any effect on the pest at all. The mealybug is hidden in the secluded places of the plant, in the soil, in the roots, in the inventory and so on. For this reason the chemicals may not act with the pest. Insecticides of the class of neonicotinoids with the active substance imidacloprid or acetamiprid showed the highest efficiency. However, it must be remembered that these chemicals can be toxic, so keep it in mind, please. Plants processing with biological preparations in indoor conditions showed the efficiency significantly lower than the processing with chemical preparations. If there are a few individuals on the plant, the pest is treated with isopropyl alcohol. The brush or cotton swab is moistened in a 70% solution of isopropyl alcohol, then the alcohol is applied to the pest. If the plant is highly contaminated with a mealybug, at first we test the plant for phytotoxicity for one or two days. Making sure that the alcohol doesn't cause any burns on the leaves, we spray all of the plant with a 70% alcohol solution. If the alcohol gets on the pest, the mealybug dies 100% at all stages of development. Processing with alcohol usually causes burns of the aerial parts of a large number of plant species. Alcohol doesn't affect the pest in the soil. There is also neem oil. The result is 100% in direct contact with the pest. The oil literally smothers the mealybug, completely enveloping it. But there is a flaw. The oil doesn't act on the eggs and pest in the soil. There are also new hormonal chemicals. These chemicals gave a 100% result in a significant number of treatments. And at the same time they are safe for humans. Our own experience in protecting the collection from the mealybug. Whenever possible we buy seeds, not plants. The purchased plant without unpacking immediately goes into quarantine. In quarantine, the plant is provided with usual care conditions for the growing, but also regular inspections are carried out. A month later, if no pests are found, the plant moves to the general collection. When a pest is found, the infected plant is destroyed. Having a significant collection of succulent plants, we believe that no plant can be more valuable than the entire collection. In our region, the mealybug doesn't live under natural conditions, therefore the only probable source of infection is new purchased plant. We have developed the following method of cleaning some plants from mealybugs. The result is 100% pest free. Remove flowers and dead parts. Remove the leaves from adenium and pachypodium completely. The plant is removed from the pot. The soil is removed too. Using soap and warm water, wash the plant to remove a big part of the pests. If the above ground part of the plant has many secluded places for the pest, this applies to cactuses with long spines or, for example, mammillaria in which horizontal spines completely hide the stem of the cactus, in that case, the plant can be processed with isopropyl alcohol solution or completely processed with hot water. 
This technology is described in details in the article of our website. The link will be in the description below. Hot water processing is 100% effective in killing the millibug. But there is also the price of such efficiency. The surface of the stock can get burnt if the holding time and temperature of heating are disturbed. With the help of heating, you can destroy the pest in the soil. The situation is simpler with succulent plants. Most succulents rejuvenate each year, so it's enough to cut off a part of the plant that is clean of the pest, wash it with a soap and send it for rooting. The rest of the infected plant must be disposed of. In the soil and on the roots of succulents, millibugs of all stages of development are completely destroyed when they are processed with hot water. This method has high efficiency, but it is important to comply with the processing technology, since the water heats up to 54 or 56 degrees Celsius, and this temperature, if improperly processed, can cause root damage and, as a result, the plant death. There is no exact data on the heat resistance of one or another succulent, but this is the only way to completely get rid of the millibug. From our experience, success has been achieved in the heat processing of such plants as Adenium, Pachypodium, Nolina and Sansevieria. For Crassulas, Echeverias, Sedums and similar species, the infected plant itself is disposed of after selecting the pure material from it for the future propagation. Plants with hard leaves are also mechanically cleaned from the pest. If there is no millibug in the soil mix, usually we do not destroy the soil. But if there are signs of the pest there, then the soil is removed. If the heat resistance of the plant allows, it is necessary to conduct heat processing. The whole period of quarantine the plant is kept in a deep pellet. A double-sided tape is fixed on the edge of the pellet, for catching curious pests wanting to leave it. Sago palm trees are very easy to clear from the millibug. The leaves are removed completely, the roots are cut off by 90%, the codex with the rest of the root system is placed in isopropyl alcohol. This procedure should be carried out at the beginning of the growing season, if the plant is cultivated in the temperate zone. In the tropics, processing can be carried out at any time. For palm trees, only the above-ground part of the plant is effectively cleaned by processing with isopropyl alcohol and mechanical cleaning depending on the level of contamination. The root system can be completely cleaned of pests by heat processing only. The heat resistance of palm trees varies greatly, so there is a high probability of plant death. Plants with soft leaves, for example, Gisneria, Precious Orchids, Peperomia, Tradescantia and so on, we select pure material for propagation and dispose of the mother plant infected with a pest. For Phalaenopsis, we remove the peduncle, clean the roots from the bark and conduct mechanical cleaning. Then we plant the orchid in a new substrate. So, that is our experience in dealing with millibugs. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, cause this is the best motivation for us. See you in the next episode. Good luck!